Hello. This is an introduction to Google Sheets, the spreadsheet tool in Google's online suite of Office productivity software. The screencast is directed to folks who have little or no experience with Google Sheets. If you're familiar with Microsoft Excel, you'll probably be able to guess your way through most of the operations, although by watching this screencast, you might pick up a few clues about how the Google Sheets interface differs from Excel. The main topics of this tutorial are, first, how to open a Google Sheet document. Second, make a quick tour of the browser window just to see what's there. And then I'm going to demonstrate some very basic spreadsheet operations. The Google suite of tools is cloud-based. All the files are stored on a remote server and accessed through a web browser. You'll need a Google account. And for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use Google Sheets via continuous access to the internet. There is a way to use Google Sheets offline, uh, that is, while well, you're not connected to the internet, but I won't be showing you how to do that. Students, staff, and faculty at Portland State have a Google account already. That's associated with their pdx.edu email, which itself is a Gmail account. Let's get started. You see here a browser window. This is Google Chrome running on a Macintosh, and there's a bunch of things there that are my account, so don't worry about all of that. But you've already logged into your pdx.edu account, and you're ready to start a new document. So you open a browser window. Uh, I recommend Chrome because Chrome is a Google product, and that's a bit more aligned with uh, Google Sheets, but you should be able to use any browser. Over here on the right, uh, is a little matrix of dots. I click on that and I can open up Google Sheets directly. My preference, however, is to open up first the Drive feature and then uh, create a folder or a workspace that I'm going to put the Google Sheet in. So let's do it that way. Click on Google Drive and now you can see my workspace, the files and folders that are in my Google uh, account. I'm going to click New Folder, and I'm going to call that Folder Practice, just so I'll know what's in there and what I, where I can find my documents. Inside that folder, I double-click on the folder. Now I'm in Google Drive in a folder called Practice. Now if I click over here in the left margin, New Google Sheets, I'll open up a Google Sheet. I've configured my browser to open Windows in tabs, so the first tab where I started was the Google Drive interface. The second tab is the Google Sheet interface. The Google Sheet interface um, it looks like a spreadsheet. In the bottom part here, you see rows and columns. The columns have letters to uh, identify them, and the rows have numbers. So this is a standard interface. At the bottom, you can uh, manipulate uh, within this single sheet, you can add additional sheets. Up at the top, uh, we see it's an untitled spreadsheet. I'll change that name in just a second. Below the name of the sheet is a bunch of menus, the File menu, the Edit menu, the View menu, etc. So this is typical Office software where you use menus to make changes to your document or various other operations. You'll notice in the File menu, there is no Save command. I can make a copy. I can rename the document. I can do other operations, but I don't save it. That's because it's a cloud-based document. So let's label, the, uh, let's uh, change the name of the, this sheet and call it Practice with Numbers. Okay, so I'm typing into that box. When I hit Enter, you'll see some activity just to the right of the cursor. It says Saving. So I've given the document a name, and it's already uh, been saved. So if I go back to my Google Drive tab, I see Practice with Numbers, which is the name of the spreadsheet I've just created. Let's do some basic operations. As with other spreadsheets, we operate with cells. So I click in these boxes. These are referred to as a cell. Uh, right now I'm pointing to cell B2. It's in column B, row 2. Uh, let's just add some numbers here. In the first cell, I'll add a number. Five doesn't matter. Second cell, I'll add another number. And in the third cell, I'm going to make a formula. Starting with equals formulas, always start with an equal sign. And I will click to refer to the cell. So equals A1 
plus A2. The cell formula is shown not only in the cell here, but also up above in this formula bar. When I hit enter, the calculation is made. Spreadsheets are dynamic, so if I change this number in the first cell and I hit enter, the sum total, the sum of the two numbers also changes. Let's be just slightly more ambitious. Let's suppose I want to keep track of some money I've spent. Pick a cell here, put amount as the title, and I'm just going to put some numbers in here. 8.25 would be some money I spent on something. I'll put in some more numbers. And I want to calculate the total of these expenses before I added the number. So I could type here, I could, uh, I could say equals this cell plus this cell plus this cell, but that's a little tedious for a large number of numbers. Instead, I'm going to use the sum feature, equals sum, op equals sum, open parentheses, and I'm going to drag over the cells I want to add. I put a pre uh, close parentheses to complete the formula. The cell formula now has a range of values in it. I hit enter, and it calculated the sum. So right away, we can see a couple different features. In this simple example above, I added two numbers by referring to the cells that contain those numbers in the plus sign. Below, I compute the sum of a range. So ranges of cells are designated by a colon between the two cell addresses. Now, normally with Excel, I would hit the save command, right? I don't have to because Google Sheets is doing it automatically for me. This column of numbers here, we know what it means right now, but let's let's change the appearance so that we can make this a bit more understandable. I'd like to have, like, indicate that this is the total somehow. Uh, one way to do that would be to put a line uh, at the bottom of this cell. So I can do that with the ribbon bar over here, this borders icon. I click on that and some options pop up. I'll, I'll select the bottom border. And I can even do that again under the word amount. So that helps. But these are currencies. This is, this is money. So if I were to select these and go up to the toolbar and click on this dollar sign, it will format it as some currencies, currently in US dollars. Keep an eye, when I do that, keep an eye on this number here, 17. I hit that. And so it formats it with not a dollar sign, but also with the cents. Uh, personally, um, I don't like this display because the dollar sign sort of crowds the numbers. There's an alternative way to represent money. Go to the Format menu, select Number, and either Accounting or Financial. I like Accounting. Now the dollar sign is over on the left of the cell, and the numbers are, are still right justified. And the, again, uh, the dollars and cents are shown. Well, it's, it would be nice to keep track of what these things are. I would like to label what each of these items are and maybe put a total, uh, indicate total here. So because it's crowded up against the left margin, there's no room on the left side, but I can fix that. Let's select all of these cells, the title, the numbers, and the formula all together. From the Edit menu, select Cut, and over here, just arbitrarily move it to column C, Edit, and Paste. So I've moved all of the numbers, including the formula, uh, notice that now if I click on the formula box, up here it says the sum goes from C7 to C13. So everything's been adjusted. The individual locations of the values as well as the formula for the total. Now I can add in some labels here. I can say these are apples. You can see now how I, I can create a document that starts to look a bit more like something you could show to somebody and they would know what you're talking about, not just a bunch of numbers. Here's the item and then maybe I want to add the, um, under, the underlined again and I could jazz this up by making this uh, bold and I could even center the, um, the, the titles here. I can use this tool to center them. So we can keep going, but you can see now that the spreadsheet contains numbers, it contains uh, formatting information, it contains formulas. Well, that's it for this introductory demonstration. The key ideas we covered were how to create a folder in Google Drive. That's optional, but it's a good, um, for me, a good habit because then I know where to put stuff. Um, I showed you how to open a Google Sheets document and the basic elements of the Google Sheets user interface. 
uh, we entered some numbers and formulas, and then we moved those formulas around and uh, formatted the numbers. These are just the most basic operations. Google Sheets has many practical features, and for many of us, uh, those features will be sufficient for our spreadsheet tasks. Note that Google engineers are constantly updating this software. The software is based in the cloud, and you don't have to do anything to update it. In fact, sometimes you'll open a document and it will look slightly differently. Not the what you put into it, but the user interface might change because the Google engineers have added some features or rearranged things. So don't worry about that. Just recognize that the basic operations here using cells and formulas won't be changing. That's it. Thanks for watching.